Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Eleanor Roosevelt visited Natchez, Mississippi on March 8th and 9th in 1939. In her daily newspaper column entitled My Day, the First Lady noted that she and her party had arrived in Vicksburg early on Wednesday the 8th, enjoyed a breakfast on the train, and then traveled to Natchez on a recently paved road made possible with the help of the WPA. Roosevelt observed that the new highway was indeed fortunate for the hordes of tourists who could now reach Natchez over a good and very pretty road, as she described it. After a busy morning meeting with the press and state directors of various WPA projects, Eleanor managed to visit, and I quote, seven of the lovely old homes. The most beautiful gardens, it seems to me, were those of Montaigne, but among so much beauty, it is hard to pick out any one which is particularly outstanding. Roosevelt praised the contributions of Natchez women. Reflecting on the Natchez pilgrimage, she observed, Never tell me that women are not able in business. Natchez is being built up by a woman's idea, carried out by women. The next morning, March 9th, the First Lady and her party set off for Baton Rouge. I'm Elaine Gemmel, and like Eleanor Roosevelt, I'm a proud Democrat, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.